Jared Polin Fro knows photo.com and I'm here to upgrade my Nikon D7000 firmware to the latest and greatest firmware. Um, now this could be a daunting task for some people because you're worried about messing up your camera. You read all these warnings. Do not turn the camera off when firmware is updating. Do not unplug your camera. Do not pull the card out. You could damage your camera. All of those things are possible, but it's really simple to do a firmware. What is a firmware update? I should probably explain that. It's when basically like you're updating your software. When I'm on my iMac and a new software comes out, then a new update comes out. I update it through the uh, the computer. So it's pretty much like updating the software that's in your camera. And most digital SLRs and even electronics today have the ability to be uh, have firmware updated. Even the Nikon flashes, you can update the firmware in. So really, it's it's new, usually bug fixes or tweaks to the software that make something work better. Uh, it's never anything really, really substantial. Like, it won't make your camera take more pictures or won't change the frame rate uh, from 24 frames a second in video to, say, 30 frames a second because most of that's, like, hardware-oriented. But, you know, firmware is going to make changes that could be to autofocus issues, could be to, uh, let's see, noise reduction. I'm just looking at some of them that are here on on the camera. Some white balance, or on the computer, some white balance things. Um, I'm hoping it fixes some, some autofocus thing here. Um, I kind of think that the D7000 has a slight autofocusing issue. I seem to miss quite often, but this is about, well, not miss quite often, but it seems to miss, like if I'm locked right on somebody, it kind of back focuses and it's not the lens because I've tested the same uh, multiple lenses of the same, you know, like a 24 to 70. I tested two different ones on the same body and I still had the issue. Um, but anyway, let's get back to how do we do this. So there is a down a file that you download. You're either on a, a Mac or you're on a PC. There's even, you know, more detailed instructions. But these instructions right here are pretty darn easy. Download the application below and then either click save to save the ex uh, executable file to your computer or run to auto export the file, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is what you want to do in your camera. I already did this. So what you want to do is take the SD card in your camera that is blank or that you already saved the pictures on and you're going to want to reformat that card in the camera. After you reformat that card in the camera, take it out, pop it into your SD card slot and then move on to the next step download the file it's going to download it to your computer uh and then basically it says put the oh we don't even need to do that we're gonna we're gonna skip that all right this is the important one right here use the sd card reader and copy the d7000 underscore 0102.bin file to the top level of the card and outside of the dcm folder so let's go to the folders and see what it, exactly what that means this is what i downloaded and you open it up and here is that bin file that they're talking about then right here is the sd card here's the dcm file here is something that the camera this is what the camera automatically writes to your card when you reformat it. So it wants it in the top level. The top level would be in the same place as these files. So I'm not putting it in a folder, I'm just dropping it right into the card. Now it's in the top level. So what do we do next? We are going to export, not export, we're going to eject the card from the computer. So now it's ejected from the computer, boom. I take it out. Well, it's telling me that I didn't wait long enough. That's always a good thing. Pop it into the first card slot because there are two. Let me go and read the directions a little further. From the setup menu, follow the instructions, instructions displayed to upgrade the camera's firmware. Do not turn off the camera until the inst instructions indicate it is safe to do so. After the firmware is completed, switch off the camera, remove the SD card and the memory. Blah, 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 blah. So. I know, blah, blah, blah isn't very helpful, but it says go into the settings menu, find firmware, which I did. Now it's telling me I can update it. I'm going to hit OK. It's telling me that it's going to update the current 1.01, 1 .01, 1 .01 to 1.02, 1.02. I am hitting yes. Warning, 
Do not turn off the camera. Update will take several minutes. So you want to make sure that you have a full battery when you're doing this because you do not want the battery to die in the middle of this firmware update because if that happens, your camera could be dead. It could be locked up. So while this is going on, I'm just going to wait. And I'll be right back as soon as it's done to wrap it up. Okay, and we're back. And the camera took... I'd say about a minute and a half to two minutes to run through the uh, updating sequence. And at the very end, I mean, you'll see a green status bar go across the screen. And at the very end, it said, turn off your camera. So then I turned off my camera. Then I waited. And then I turned it back on and checked under the setup menu to see that it did update to the new firmware, which is 1.02. Uh, all the way through A, B, and then that other thing, which was L, which I haven't seen on a camera before. But at this point, after the firmware has been updated, you want to reformat the card, and you're ready to go. So really, it's it's pretty simple to format your card. The things to remember is that you reformat, or sorry, to update the camera's firmware. Um, the things to remember that you want to reformat the card in the camera before you put the software, the new firmware, onto it. Uh, and then you want to make sure you do not turn the camera off while it's updating or that your battery is full before you do it because you don't want it to run out in between and then you may lose uh, the ability to use your camera and have to send it back in. So that's it. That was pretty easy to update my Nikon D7000 firmware and it's pretty easy should you have to update any other type of firmware from any other type of camera. Just follow the instructions. They're pretty simple. And that's about it. Nothing to be worried about. Update it. Make it happen. Done. Jared Poland. Froknowsphoto.com. See ya.